Welcome back, Foulmouth Fishing, all you hookaholics. The time has arrived, and so has our MTB Elite for March. So, uh, March 2022, and uh, pre spawns coming up. This is that early spring. Uh, the waters are starting to warm. We're going to have a week of 60 degree weather. So, slowly that water is going to come back up into that 45 to 55 pre spawn uh, temperatures. And uh, I'm looking to see what MTV has in store for this early spring uh, month's worth of uh, a fishing tackle. So let's get at it, shall we? So, like I say, uh, it's early spring. It is now March. This is the March uh, MTB Elite version. Uh, if you don't know what MTB is, Elite, Standard, and Pro. So they have three categories, uh, or three tiers, and multiple categories of these monthly tackle subscription boxes. Uh, you have your Standard, which is your entry level, your Pro, which is a midterm, and then your Elite, which is the highest uh, value uh, and highest price range. Uh, version of their MTB monthlies. They also have them in uh, trout kits and saltwater kits, and uh, they've even gone to technique-specific versions. Um, but this is just their Bass General Freshwater uh, subscription monthly. I get these each month. They have a series of baits in them, uh, a couple of little items to help you become a better angler, one of which is this, their little Dibble Digest. It's a pretty cool cover sheet. Uh, has little games on the back to keep the youngsters... Uh, Kind of happy and it's got little tips tricks pamphlet information a uh, little content and uh, and uh, little you know uh, documents on how to do certain techniques or different uh, things that you might want to learn like panfish and trout unusual ways to target giant panfish uh, confidence with new lures how to gain more confidence and experimenting with new lures and techniques so little little pieces and little um, uh, you know uh, commentaries in there just to expand your fishing uh, abilities. And that's what MTB really is about. It's about exposing you to lures and techniques and things that you wouldn't otherwise do to break you out of that com uh, comfort zone, hence the mystery. And you don't know what you're gonna get each month, but uh, you know you're gonna get quality and value. That much, I can assure you. Uh, so, <laughs> Today we didn't get a uh, what's in the box card. We got another one of those uh, self-sticky printed labels, but nevertheless, it gives you an item list and a price walkthrough of what those items should cost retail. Uh, if you have a Shop Carl's membership, you can get uh, the items in here from the shopcarls.com and uh, at a much greater discount than the retail price. Otherwise, these are pretty darn accurate what you would pay if you were to go to uh, you know, your basic tackle store, your Dick's, uh, Cabela's, um, Walmart's, what have you. If you found these lures on sale in there, you're probably going to pay these prices that they list here. So that's pretty accurate and a little respectable. They don't try to inflate or deflate the prices to make themselves look good or others bad. Every box comes with a, a decal. This one, perfect for this time of year. So I'll get to that in a second. So... There's a, a fish boxing a jig. That's pretty cool. That is pretty darn cool. I like that sticker a lot. So that's definitely going in the collection. We also have the Carl's Beard Contest. <laughs> post your impression of Carl's by taking a selfie with his beard. Uh, you post it on Mystery Tackle Box's Instagram or Twitter. And uh, let's see, I get a, a hashtag fishing beard or mystery tackle box. And I guess they're probably giving you away some sort of a some sort of a prize. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe that'll, uh, maybe some of you out there will get a lucky old gift. Um, we have a index card here with a feature bait. So each, each month they try to feature something in here. This month's is the 10,000 fishes cycle bait or sickle underspin. Uh, that's pretty cool. Underspins are also awesome. 
So let's get into this right off the bat. What we got. We'll start at the top as we always do, work our way down. There'll be timestamps list underneath in the descriptions section. So if you see an item that you are more in tune to want to know, whatever description or information I can give to you, I'll have it there. You can skip around. You don't have to just watch through everything. Uh, you can go straight to the 10,000 fishes sickle bait, uh, where that is located in the timestamps below, and get right to it. But first, for $9.99, we have the Lunker Hunt Easy Prey. Easy Prey. Now, this is an interesting bait. Lunker Hunt tends to have some very unusual body styles. Uh, obviously, you know, they put out the Firefly. They put out the, uh, the Bugs and the uh, um, just a lot of soft bait, hybrid, hard baits. Um, this one, I don't know. There's a lot of this um, bait design that intrigues me and confuses me all at the same time. So this is a hard plastic bait. It weighs, let's see what do we got for weight. Oh, okay. It weighs half an ounce. It is a three inch bait. It has three sets of feathered treble hooks, as you can see here. Uh, one on what would be the uh, pectoral, one on the dorsal, and one on the tail. Okay. It has a small plastic lip on the face, which turns it into a bit of a diver, and it's designed to float on its side. So it's not necessarily a bait that swims in an S waiver style. It literally will crank down and roll almost like a, a fluttering spoon. And then it'll kind of float and do that dying bait fish body roll and just, uh, it, it's just very odd. They have a beetle. I'll put, I'll try to put a picture right in here. Uh, they have a little beetle bait that has the same basic characteristics as try, try, try. <laughs> these, these, uh, these, uh, treble hooks in the tri star pattern. Um, I haven't had much success on hookups. They tend to get caught between themselves and all of the body, you know, points and stuff. It just, it, it doesn't, I don't know. I think there was a lackluster attempt at this. I understand the concept in theory. I just don't, never in practice this has succeeded. That said, $10 is not an expensive price tag for construction of this. I'm interested to see how it works. You never know. I could be, uh, you know, reasonably and, and, and happily surprised. But, uh, $10.99 for the Lunker Hunt Easy Prey hard bait. Um, again, it's an odd uh, foray into that kind of top water crankbait hybrid uh, kind of kind of bait. So jointed kicking action. It slowly floats on the paws, and it goes uh, shallow dives to two feet with that little tiny bill. All right, interesting. The Ima suspending vibration for nine ninety nine. Ima, <clears throat> Ima. Okay, another good uh, bait for this time of year. I wouldn't throw top water yet. I'd wait till the water warms up to that 60, 65 degree temperature rating. But right now, with water in the forty five, fifty five, I go for definitely your vibrating one knockers or that's a one knocker. Those heavy thud um, lipless cranks, definitely good. Great color for slightly stained water or even clear water. It's that little holographic silver shine. So you get plenty of flutter and, uh, and flash off of it. And that thud definitely will call, call the fish in. So that's cool. I'm another great, great manufacturer, high quality. All right, so they call that again. That's the suspending vibration. This one suspends, obviously, it's in the name. Uh, it is a Vibe 70 silver lining is the color scheme that they give for this. Um, not bad. Again, it's a Japanese design. I'm a, is a JDM uh, design company. Uh, they produce them here in the United States, but it's based on JDM styles. Uh, it is 70 millimeters or two and three quarter inches. It weighs three eighths of an ounce. It will go three to four feet, and it has number four trebles on it. So uh, that's not a bad bait. Again, good for this time of year. I like that. <clears throat> Next up, Z-Man's Leapfrog Walking Frog. I definitely have a bunch of these. So we have the 
two and a quarter inch walking frog hollow body by Z-Man in old school. Old school. I'm not going to take this out because I'm going to probably give this definitely away in my giveaways. I've got so many frogs, it's ridiculous. And I take good care of them. I don't lose them that often. And, uh, they, I mean, when they get torn up, torn up, I immediately replace them. So this one's got a great keel to it as a walking frog. So basically you're popping frogs. Uh, your top water uh, pad frogs, you want a flat bottom. Your popping frogs, you want a rounded bottom. It gives you that ability to thump down and get a lot of spit out of the front end. Your walking frogs, especially if you have like sparse cover and you're basically doing tops of grass lines or into cover and you're pulling it across and your, 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 main, your main great location for a blow up on a frog is those gaps in between the pads. You have a thick cover and then you have an open hole where the water's peeking through. Slide it off that cover into that open spot and back up in the cover into the next open spot. That's when you're typically going to have that, that ambush reaction come out from underneath and grab it in that open water area. And keeled baits are awesome for that because when it lands, it'll, it'll right itself really quickly and you can swim it and walk the dog, especially in a high keel like this, uh, to keep it in that strike zone for a few more seconds and then get into the next uh, as you work it across the water. Not bad at all. Again, definitely going in the giveaway for somebody down the road. Uh, that one, the Z-Man, is $7.99. For $6.99 from 10,000 fish, that cycle bait, or sickle. So this is an underspin single Colorado. The color on this one is chartreuse in white with a 3 aught. The cool thing about the sickle bait um, is the erratic way that that Colorado is, is connected with this, like, chain link. It'll link, the links will catch up and throw the bait back and forth, giving you a nice erratic uh, swimming pattern. So, not bad. I like this also, especially if you have a chartreuse color, some like muddier water. Um, that, that thud from the underspin definitely gives you vibration. Pat, uh, pair it with a nice, thick, beefy paddle tail, soft plastic that fits that 3 aught, and you'll get a lot of thud out of the kicking action of the paddle tail or the heart tail and, uh, or your trailer, and uh, definitely calls in a lot of fish. So that's six dollars and ninety-nine cents. Next up, five ninety-nine. The X Zone lures adrenaline crawl. All right, X Zone. It's a few off. X Zone lures adrenaline crawl. I have these already. This is a six-pack of the adrenaline crawl. These are a Brandon Plunkett version, four and a quarter, and they are the green pumpkin blue flakes. So if you see there, you got this really awesome green pumpkin, and on the back side, you've got that. Green Pumpkin Blue Flake shines through. Uh, it's, it's definitely great. This is another one uh, good for punching and flipping. Uh, excellent on the bottom of a, of a jig uh, for, for bottom contact or even, you know, Texas rigged, Carolina rigged adrenaline bugs. They have a really good kicking action, right? Uh, brilliantly fr uh, flared uh, claws, so they get a lot of water displacement from those ribbed flares and paddles on the end. Awesome, awesome. Definitely good for this time of year, especially if you're pairing it uh, with a, a jig. Again, that's $5.99 for the Adrenaline Crawl. We have four more to go. So from Bi Biwa, we have the Scorpion Tail. Biwa Scorpion Tail. All right. So this is their Scorpion Tail 4, 4-inch, four 8-pack. Um, basically, this is a Spear Point Tail. Got it. Definitely got that, that stinky, stinky uh, squid smell. Uh, it's, it's got a hook slot in the belly for your weight and a hook slot in the back for your Texpo's rig. So that's pretty cool. Um, it has a interesting scorpion-style spear tail. It's actually faceted, believe it or not. So you see it's four corners. Not bad. Not bad at all. Um, very interesting design. Green pumpkin color. Again, there's that hook slot on the top. Hook slot on the bottom. Interesting, interesting design. So I like that. I think this would really good, uh, be a good design tail for something like a chatterbait. I wish they had this on a larger sized soft plastic that would marry up to, uh, to a chatterbait like the jackhammer or the stealth blade. Because I, you know, there's there's ways that those paddle tails don't really work well with the front uh, 
vibrating jig head, where pintails, uh, little tickler tails, tend to work better for me in that uh, in those okay, uh, cases. Five ninety nine for that. Three motor grow from Guggen Squad. This is the Guggen Squad little juicy jig. Again, excellent, excellent this time of year. It's a five sixteenths, and I would definitely pair this five sixteenths. This is their uh, uh, Okeechobee Craw color, so it's that blue and green pumpkin with a little bit of brown, orange in there, and that right there pairs up perfectly with that uh, X Zones Adrenaline uh, Craw. So that's how I definitely would work those two together. I might set those aside for a good All right, um, that again is as a four dollar and ninety nine cent price. Not bad, five sixteenths. It's light enough to to throw on a bank. Uh, and also, if you want to do the fishing uh, from your boat. So that's pretty cool. Next to last, Hearts Tackle Finesse Juice bit, uh, Jig. Now, this is not a company I'm aware of. Um, so, Gotta Have Heart is their logo. Heart Tackle, and it's the Justice Jig, and it's their Finesse Justice Jig. So, it is in the color... Assorted skirt. Okay, it's just an assorted skirt color, um, but it's basically a black brown. A black brown. I'll take it out of the package because this is kind of interesting. It's four dollars and eighty nine cents. So relatively inexpensive and good price for this. A little finessey. So you've got this. Black with a little bit of a uh, you know white clear, and then they've got this orangey brownish color on the back end. It's got a weed guard, so it's weedless, a nice firm one at that. You can see the hook is pretty darn sharp. It does bend quite a bit, but uh, nevertheless, it's a finesse jig, so you'd be doing this with light line anyway. You would not be using heavy gauge, uh, you know, uh, fifteen or twenty pound braid on this, so. Certainly, I think that is an adequate hook um, for, for, for such a finesse jig. I'm liking this color. This is a color I haven't seen before. That little brown hue and that hit of white on the, on the bottom is kind of cool. And I also like the eyes. It's got those 3D red eyes in there. Definitely a swim jig profile, so great for bouncing off of cover like a lay down log, stump, something like that. Nice. This will be interesting. Hold on to that. That's not bad. Not bad at all. Gotta have heart. Heart tackle. Huh, interesting. I'll see how well this performs. Um, inset molded eyes for less snagging. Flat head for better swimming action. Stand up. It's cut on the bottom for stand up for better presentation. Nice. Now this, definitely, um, I'd swim that with a little trailer. Maybe a little grub or something like that. And our final bait in the box for this month is the Bruiser Baits Super Swimmer Junior. I've had these before as well. This one's in the purple disco color. It is a six count of, down there, number six, of these little flat paddle tail swim baits. Again, awesome for this time of year. So basically, you know, the pre-spawn when and the early spring time, when the temperature of the water is in that mid to upper 40s, but lower 50s, the 45 to 55. Uh, the kind of baits that I look for are uh, swim baits, larger swim baits. Uh, I look for things like little paddle tails like this, definitely jigs to run the bottom, uh, spinner baits. I mean, that's my kind of go-tos around this time of the year. So it's cool to see those represented in this box. The only things that are definitely not in it for me for this time of year are the top waters. I think it's a little too early here in New Jersey, the Northeast, to uh, to be throwing top water at the moment, but that could change. That's right around the corner shortly anyway. We only have a few more uh, months until top water season hits its pinnacle. Uh, with that said, tell me, what do you think? Do you think this was a good box this this month? Uh, was it worth the value? Uh, I pay about $42 and some change, 43 bucks per box per month. So uh, I think I got my value. Uh, out of it. I do like, like I said, I do like this jig. This is interesting. A finesse jig. 
that's cool. Love the the uh, fact that they match products up like the juicy jig with the uh, the X Zone Lures Craws. Um, definitely big fan of the lipless cranks this time of year and an underspin this time of year. So you can see these pair up perfectly. You've got your old chartreuse hit on the head, and then you've got these disco white clear uh, paddle tails. We have the juicy jig from from Guggen Squad and the Exxon Lures Craws. They pair up perfectly. Um, you even could theoretically run this finesse jig with these green pumpkin uh, fish because there's that hue of, of green pumpkin and brown and then that brown natural color here. So that's good. And then of course, naturally, you've got your flash and flare here, which also goes with that underspin to draw uh, fish in for that murkier stained water as opposed to uh, opposed to like a nice clear clear water. Um, again, just the top water just is out of place. I would have waited another month or two before I'd want to see any top water products in my box. That all said, again, comment down below. Like, share, and subscribe as always. And from me to you, keep your lines tight, and I'll catch you on the next cast. Peace, O'Callaghan.